then five seconds later after the tree falls i hear him scream like to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're a subscriber already welcome back and I hope you guys are all doing perfectly fine yo so let's get real for a second I mean I mean I was always real but um October let me make sure I get the date right let me check my phone because this is a story time okay so it was october 19th of last year and it was a it was a beautiful day it was a beautiful day and my husband's schedule at the time was like mondays tuesdays wednesdays i think mondays tuesday wednesdays and thursdays so he does work overnight and we're, we were both training for a half marathon because um, we wanted to do the half marathon for our anniversary. And whew, kind of already getting emotional about it. So I had already, this was a Monday, so I think I had already ran that day in the morning. And he usually runs when he can. And he was supposed to, I'm sorry if I say and a lot because I'm hearing my own self really annoying actually so i'm gonna try my best not to say it too much he was supposed to run that day my husband can't stand the trees that is around our home because it can get really really windy out here and he doesn't want any of the trees to fall on our house my husband also does things by himself he'll figure it out he'll probably never you know pay someone to do something he can do himself that's the type of man he is he's cut down trees before so he was like okay i'm gonna cut down i'm gonna start cutting down some trees i said okay in my mind i'm just like this is not something out the ordinary that he's done it before like okay so i our, our son is taking a nap and i go on the couch i didn't feel like watching tv my mood wasn't as like happy go lucky as it was before as i mentioned in my welcome back video that um i kind of was kind of going through it so my mood was always in and out a lot and that time i kind of didn't want to watch tv i'm not usually a nap taker but i just decided to lay down and so <clears throat> He goes and do his thing. So as I'm laying down, I'm chilling, whatever. And I hear the tree fall. Right? It's not it's not scaring me because I'm that's what he went to go do is cut down some trees. Literally, tree fall, boom. Right? And then five seconds later, after the tree falls, I hear him scream like ah! I immediately I get up from the couch I run to the back door I said babe babe where are you and he's like the tree just fell on me the tree just fell on me I'm like where are you he's like I'm over here I'm over here so mind you I'm in the house I ain't got no shoes on so I'm about to run down like the the stairs in the back and I go run back inside to get some shoes and I run back to the back door and I'm like, I need to call 911 so I go back inside. It's like I was literally like a chicken with their heads cut off. That's how I felt. So I get the phone, I'm running down and I see him and I'm just like, usually in a crisis, I don't freak out I'm probably extremely calm the inside of me though chaos pure chaos but outside cuz I'm not trying to freak anybody else out so I'm like I get to him and 
I'm telling him to breathe. I'm telling him to calm down. And I call 911 and I'm like, hey, uh, my, uh, a tree just fell on my husband. And I'm giving him all the information where he is. I'm making sure he's not moving at all. But he's like, mind you, my husband is not crying. I don't see not one tear come out this man's eye. But he's just, he's, he's super, super calm and he's just holding on to my leg, like to kind of like bear with the pain. So he is squeezing the life out of my leg. Babe, I never told you that, which you almost, you almost thought the circulation in my, my leg, but it's okay. Cause you were hurting going back to the story. He's holding, like, say, this is my leg, so he's holding it on. So, basically, you know when you're trying to take pain from another part of your body, you kind of, like, whatever. So, um, I'm telling him to breathe. So, he's, I'm telling him to breathe. I'm telling him to breathe. So, he's, he kind of goes, not in and out, but he's, like, trying to, like, figure out, like, damn, why didn't he run the other way when he saw the tree coming? And then he, I remember him saying, man, shoulda, coulda, woulda, but now, now we're here. There's nothing we can do about it. And then he's, like, it's broken. It's definitely broken in, like, a couple of places. He think, he thought it was three. And I'm, like, damn, well, how do you know this information, sir? And he said he felt his bone, like, wiggling inside his leg. And I'm just, like, yo, we don't need this, like, right now, like, Lord, what is going on? And I'm trying to calm him down. I'm, I'm telling him to look at me so he can breathe, so he doesn't focus on, on his leg. I don't want him to focus on his leg, and I'm just waiting for them to come. And I'm also praying, and I'm on the phone with the dispatch. Ashy? I'm on the phone with dispatch, so... um. They're, they they want me to stay on the phone with them until uh, paramedics come. So they finally come maybe in like three, four minutes, maybe, I want to say. I don't even think it was that long. I don't know, probably. And so they come, they put him like on the board, and he goes to the hospital. Now, because we're in a pandemic and COVID running rapid, we I get into the back of the the thing so we can figure out which hospital he's going to because it's either two hospitals he's going to. Both an hour plus away, but one is a level one trauma center and one is a level three trauma center. And I was like, okay, I would want my husband to go to a level one trauma center. We would always want to go to a level one, but you cannot be with that person. So my husband would be by himself. That was not okay with me. But they was doing that because of COVID. And so the level three hospital would let me stay with him like overnight and stuff like that. So we decided we're gonna go ahead and go to that level three and we're gonna put everything, our faith in God, that he will be fine, that he's gonna get taken care of. So they tell me where the, um, the hospital is they they tell me where to go so they take him the reason i didn't go with him was because i have my stepson in the back taking a nappy nap right so as soon as they drove off i immediately start crying oh my god oh my god oh my god oh <laughs> okay Wow, let's let's do that again. Um, I immediately start crying. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Why is this happening, God? Why is this happening to my husband? Let him be okay. Like I'm literally, I I'm a complete. I can laugh about it now, but I was a mess. So I call I call one of my friends. She didn't pick up. I'm like freaking out. I'm like what to do? What to do? What to do? I already knew like I gotta go over there. So I kind I start packing a bag. So she calls me back because she hears she hears that I'm crying and she's like, what's going on? So I told her what happened and she's like you know he's gonna be fine. She's like calm. She was like trying to calm me down because I had to wake up David and he. So I wake up David and he's like, you know, are you crying? Why are you crying? Cause he didn't know what was going on. Man was knocked out the whole time. Best nap of his life. And he's like, why are you crying? So I try to stop crying, but my friend's on the phone. She's like, it's okay. 
to it's okay for him to see you cry like you don't have to be strong right now and this and that and so i'm just like david just just help me out like just put your clothes on and like I, i'm just it was a mess so i got off the phone with i got off the phone with my friend and i called his mom my sweet mother in love i called her and i just immediately told her i was like hey straight up hey joseph was cutting some trees the tree fell on him and he broke his leg and i'm on my way to the hospital bye that's li it was a very short conversation because i was already a mess and then i get david in a car on the way to the hospital an hour something away and i'm just like that's the only thing about living out here that i don't like and then um I call my mom, I start crying, she start crying over the phone, well she, you could hear her voice trembling, because you know, my dad died from an accident, you know, a freak accident at that, so she wouldn't want me to go through something else, and not, especially with my husband, so she's like, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna pray for him, make sure everything's okay, blah, 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 and um, I call well, David's mom calls me um, so I can coordinate with her so she could meet me at the hospital, pick up David. And yeah, it was, it was really bad. So now we're at the hospital. Um, we're in the emergency room and um, sure enough, he broke his leg in two. He broke both the bones in your legs so your tibia and your fibula are the two bones that are in your leg and it was a clean break so i was like okay so um we we're like okay so what's the plan so of course we stayed overnight there um he had to take a covid test just to make sure he didn't have any he didn't have covid and if he didn't have covid i was going to be allowed to stay now i was not going to drive back and forth from the house there so of course i was there and i have some amazing amazing friends um they basically bought me a change of clothes um got me some food honestly during this whole time i can see the people that were truly you know for us in a crisis um, the people that reached out to let us know, like, hey, how can we help? Anyways, I'm getting off the, the track. <laughs> so my friends pick me up so I can get a change of clothes, some food for us, and yeah. So he had surgery the next morning. It wasn't, no, he's not going to be in a cast because his bones broke in what the doctors would say in a perfect spot, in a sense. But in a sense of, like, it didn't break too far up close to the knee where he wouldn't too up too close to the knee or to the ankle is right in the middle like it literally kind of like kind of uh, i don't know what the heck sound i just made but it, it was broken in a perfect place where he wouldn't need a cast what they did was put a rod in the bigger bone it let me google what the bigger bone in your leg is called he knows for sure i don't one moment, please. The tibia. Okay. The tibia, they were gonna like go from his knee and put the rod through the tibia. And um, that way, because apparently you basically really kind of only need your tibia to like walk and function. The fibula, you don't really need like that. I mean, it's there, but. It ain't really there because the weight is what goes on the tibia so they'll put the rod through the tibia bone and that would line up the fibula and then that's how they both would just heal over time um healing time is like between three to six months and so i was like okay so we're gonna pray for three months okay okay and um so he has the surgery the next morning. Yeah, he had the surgery on the 20th. And when he comes out of surgery, 
Talk about problems. We really had, I really dislike 2020. Try to take my husband out. Mm. But God is good, ain't he? Amen. Um, he had, he had pneumonia after the surgery. And they were explaining to us that he had pneumonia because when they were trying to take the tube out, he swallowed the gunk or whatever from the tube that caused his um, lungs, I guess, to be like inflamed. That's how he ended up getting pneumonia. So he had to go home with oxygen. I'm giving y'all a short story to a lot of stuff because I'm going to be putting in certain clips and certain moments where I was super, super proud of him making progress. Okay. So we're just going to try to stand and then we'll try to take a couple steps forward to the chair. He got this. He does. As I said, he's so You're strong. strong. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. All right, just stand. Don't go anywhere. Don't go. Okay. How do you feel? I feel okay. You dizzy? You wizzy? No. Okay. So we're just going to stand for a minute, make sure that everything does what it's supposed to. Make sure you're breathing, okay? And the purpose of this is that it's monitoring his oxygen and all that because he needs to okay. you know, okay. in case you try to hold your breath. All right, so what we're going to try to do is just take a step forward. Now, every time that foot needs to go down, you're going to put the weight through your hands, okay? There you go. Beautiful. Look at you. Just... All right, then we're just going to turn and we're going to back up. There you go. Back up till that right leg fills the chair. Good. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to reach with your right hand for the chair. So that's going to keep your weight on that side. Perfect. Yeah. And then as you come down, you can reach with this one. But I always want you to start with that right hand. Okay. There you go. And then do that right single leg squat. Good. Breathe. Is it okay for my knee? Yeah, to bend? Bend. Like absolutely. Mm -hmm. They would put you in a brace or something if they didn't want that. <clears throat> so that's why I said you broke it in the exact right spot because you can bend the knee and you can bend the ankle. Okay. If you'd been if you'd broken a little bit lower, you wouldn't be able to bend the ankle. And a little bit higher, they wouldn't let you bend the knee. Look so who's sitting down chair. on awesome. the chair. Lost <laughs> my sock though. Sorry about that. I was trying to. Um, but. Yeah, he had to come home with oxygen. It was child. Guess what? My man walking now. He is he is actually back at work. He at work right now as I'm recording this. God is so we're he started going back to work in January. Broke his leg October 19th. Three months. I prayed for that three months, okay? Listen, God is so good. Y'all can't tell me he ain't real. It's just, he is doing well, you know. Unfortunately, we have to stop therapy at a period of time. So he hasn't like gone back like fully himself as far as like running. But he's walking normal. He's doing his squats, his lunges. Listen, my baby gonna be faster than me in like another two months. And that's okay. He's always, always faster than me. But I'm just so, so proud of him. And I'm just so proud of getting through it. Because the healing after that, baby. Those were some very, very, very hard times. And seeing him that way it was so hard it was so hard because he was in so much pain and pain that i i don't know what how, what it is to break a bone but there was days he just didn't even want to move and i'm trying to help him but i i can't man the lord is good he's he's doing so amazing and I'm so happy for him. Oh, there's so much to just talk about. But yeah, I think like I'll have him in certain videos where he can talk about certain stuff too. But that's how my husband broke his leg, y'all. But he's doing good. He's doing good now. I promise y'all, he's great. <laughs> he's great. He's great. But 
more to talk about it in videos to come you know but i love you guys thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for sharing this video i really 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 appreciate it. and if you haven't yet what are you waiting for click the like button click subscribe also click that bell so you'll get notified every single time i post a video i would really appreciate that listen it's a new year we're doing big things we're just being positive and we're just trusting god period all year long um yeah that's all i got to say see you guys in the next video